Practice Session Task 1. Create a variable and assign it a value. 2. Use type to determine the type of the variable. 3. Extract alphanumeric character from the password variable with string.match. 4. Display the extracted content. Pause the video and take your time to find a solution. Here is my solution. First, we will declare a variable named password and assign it the value brave. This variable will hold our password. Next, we will use the type function to check the type of the password variable. The type function returns the data type of a value. In this case, we're checking if the type of password is not equal to nil. If it's not nil, it means the variable exists. When programming, developers often use variable names that are intuitive and descriptive of the data they represent. For example, when storing a password, common variable names might include password, pass, or key. This convention makes the code easier to understand and maintain for both the original developer and others who may work with the code later. In the context of searching for a password stored in a script, it's reasonable to assume that the developer has followed this convention and named the variable holding the password using one of these common names. Therefore, when attempting to locate the password within the script, searching for variables named password, pass, or key is a logical and efficient strategy. This approach maximizes the likelihood of successfully identifying the variable holding the password. Next, we will proceed to pattern matching. Here, we will use string match function to extract alphanumeric characters from the password variable. The percent %w plus pattern matches one or more alphanumeric characters. Pattern matching in programming involves searching for specific patterns or sequences within a string or data structure. In Lua, pattern matching is often done using pattern strings, which are similar to regular expressions but have a simpler syntax. It allows you to find and extract specific substrings based on predefined patterns or rules. This can be particularly useful for tasks such as parsing text, validating input, or extracting specific information from strings. In the context of your tutorial, pattern matching will be used to search for specific keywords like password, pass, or key within a string to identify variables that might store passwords. Finally, we print the extracted content of the password variable using print. We display the label. The password is followed by the extracted content. In this solution, it's essential to highlight that everything presented is arbitrary and users can adapt the code to fit their specific needs. Variable names, data types, and patterns can vary based on the user's preferences and the requirements of their project. By understanding the underlying concepts and techniques demonstrated, users can apply them creatively and effectively in their own programming endeavors.